Hey, so another red box today, another Riverossi locomotive. Uh, this one is actually not personally mine, this is my brother's, but he's given me permission to take a look at it and show it off to all of you. So let's get a look inside. Let's take it off, let's take this wrapping off. Yeah, I got a lot of that. This is a retooled version of another model which I've shown you already, which is the New York Central Hudson. This one is the Santa Fe's own version called the Blue Goose, number 3460. They only ever built one of these. I think it was a prototype. They, th they considered it a kind of prototype for, uh, for other ones. I don't know exactly what happened to it. I assume it kind of got scrapped or something. But this is very, very, very difficult to find and very, very expensive. My brother managed to get this off eBay for a very, fairly reasonable price. Now, considering this is about 10 years ago, the molding is actually very, very nice, and there's a lot of detail, um, despite the fact that, as I say, it's, it's about 10 or 20 years old, this, this particular tooling. Uh, it's very authentic. I've checked it against pictures, and it does look, does look really very nice. I really like the, uh, the front, particularly the, the bonnet. Uh, or the, well, sorry, the, the prow, which has this um, three-striped pattern on it, and the Santa Fe emblem. Now, my brother generally uses this to, uh, to pull the Super Chief, uh, a relatively short one. It's not the strongest locomotive, but it is, it is still quite powerful. But let's, let's give her a little run. Now, bearing in mind, it's not been out of its box for some time. Beautiful. Now, getting right up close, you can see just how, what an impressive design it is. I really like the, um, the sort of domed front piece over the front of the boiler. That would have um, swung off, I'm pretty sure. There would have been some way of getting inside that to access the front of the boiler. As I said, the prow is very, very nice, and it's nicely, you know, usually these things in older models tend to be quite, the lines aren't terribly crisp, but look at that, that's absolutely impeccable, isn't it? Now, though, you're probably wondering, you might be wondering, what exactly these two little rods are. I'm pretty sure those are flagpoles, and you could put, uh, you could put an American flag or maybe a Santa Fe emblem on there. Uh, let's take a closer look at the pistons. See how nicely they're done. Let's get, let's run it a little bit and, and see how they work. Oop, wrong way. See how fine they are. And they're very well regulated, so they don't don't catch at any point or anything. Cab interior is actually visible in this one. Uh, unlike the older models, the that's where the that's where they kept the motor right in there. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's pickups, that's mostly pickups in the tender, hence why they've got this little connecting rod at the back. I've got a real looking, <laughs> got a real looking inter cab interior. You could probably paint that up and put people inside it and it look pretty good. So, I shall attach some running videos to the end of this movie. I've got some, some ones going back a fair ways, um, including, I think, its first run, uh, which I might try, try and put on just for novelty's sake. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this look at this extremely rare and extremely valuable model. This is a prized possession, as are a lot of my trains, really. Okay, see you next time. Here we go. Ready? Go! Yay. Thank <laughs> you.